To install mDrummer, you'll need two things, the universal installer file and data files. All can be downloaded from www.melderproduction.com download page. First, download and save the latest universal installer file onto your hard drive. Then, click on the Drummer Packs tab on the left. It will take you to the M Drummer Packs download page. Locate the Essentials Pack and download it. This pack is a must for M Drummer to work as it contains drum sets, rhythms, loops, and electronic drum library. Since all packs are free, I'd recommend downloading all of them anyway. Put them all into a single folder and M Drummer will install all of them at once. Then, just back them up somewhere for the future. Now you're ready to install the M Drummer. Locate the Universal Installer file on your hard drive, double click on it, and follow the instructions. When you get to the page listing All Plugins, make sure you've selected the M Drummer. Click the Next button. Here, select directories for the installation. Click Next again. Here, you can search and clean your system from old Melder plugins if you want to. I'm going to skip this step. Click Next one more time and the installation will begin. When done, click the Exit button. Start your DAW, create a track, and open an M Drummer plugin. M Drummer comes in three versions M Drummer 1 out, M Drummer 16 out, and M Drummer. If one output is enough, use M Drummer 1 out. If you need more than one, use M Drummer 16 out. It supports up to 16 outputs. The third version, M Drummer, provides a backwards compatibility and is the same as M Drummer 16 out. Each of them represents a complete drum studio with a huge sound choice, sequencer, and mixer with effects. The first thing you'll see is the M Drummer data installation window. Here, you are given four options. The first one simply opens the Melder website, so you can download the packs. I already did that. The second one will install the M Drummer packs which you have already downloaded. In my case, I need this option. All I need to do is locate the folder I have the packs downloaded to, like this. And a factory data folder where I want to install the M Drummer library to, like this. SSD drives are recommended, of course, to speed up loading M Drummer. And now click the button. M Drummer will convert the downloaded files into usable data. It can take a few minutes since the packs are huge, and right now they will require over 20 gigabytes of space, possibly more in the future. After it's done, you'll need to restart M Drummer. Now you can see M Drummer's main window and all categories of drum sets and rhythms. You can start making noise right now, but remember that you're running a trial version. To make it truly yours, you must activate M Drummer. It's very simple and fast. Go to the settings here and click on the Activate button. Now locate your license file and press OK. You'll see a confirmation message. Click OK again. That's all. Enjoy. Back to the other options in the M Drummer data installation window. Use the third option if you've already installed M Drummer before. Click on it and locate your data folder. Finally, the fourth option is to quit this wizard. If you do that, M Drummer won't really work.
since it won't have any drum sets, rhythms, and, well, anything. Next time, we'll start making some music.